So you can see that we got a bunch of drums by us. We got five basses, four snare drums, and three tenors with a pit that is the front line um, of four marimbas, two vibraphones, one synthesizer, one drum set player, that's me, and two auxiliary players. And what you're hearing right now is a synthesizer and a metronome keeping a steady tempo. This is the intro of our movement one. The drum line is doing a visual move with their heads down and swaying back and forth. So definitely a big deal. And the drum line comes in with a pit drum line kind of feature to keep it going. Then we go into a bass kind of run the drum line feature. If you can tell, there's a lot of stuff that you're doing, that they are doing. are always going to be the same. You don't want to be one natural combo between the pit and drum line and the drum line players between each other. The person in front of you is playing the buff. Dead strokes, which is kind of a technique. And then you hear that ching song. You're like, ching song is a great drum for the car. bass drum feature, um, doing rolls up and down the basses from bass 5, which is the biggest, to bass 1, which is the smallest. And then the auxiliary rack player that played the, bass, uh, the break drum plays xylophone, concert bells. which are the metal pieces. So here in the background, that a really high pitch sound. Then we're going to that little move. And that happened to be in the middle of our season, so we're still trying to get better and better. That's if you guys run the same segment with the synthesizer player. We're all kind of dressed up because this is Halloween. So we all look a lot kind of Halloweenish. So. A lot of the same stuff is going on as before, but it's going to be a lot of different things trying to make you better and improve. You can see the tenor drums, they have all the same set stick heights and stuff. The snares all have the same stick heights between each other. Just a lot more unique. So, as you see, there's a lot of segments and stuff that are happening right now. There's a lot of things happening around. As you can see, the bass drums are going up and down the basses from bass one to bass five, so on and so on. Kind of a speed. 
speed up, if they slow down, they slow down. If they speed up again, they speed up. Now you see the how bases are playing and up and down. It's really interesting watching this angle. It's I never actually personally seen it something like this before. Um, now we go to movement two, which is definitely a huge drumline and pit type of segment. As we start out a lot significantly slower than the first movement because it's just a, a, a way that it kind of builds it up to a ballad and stuff. This is um, what we call waltz, which is kind of a unique little genre of music from a very good time where it has sudden um, hits and sudden movements and sudden things that are happening. So that's kind of what happened. And as we all know, you know. The metronome keeps everyone together, it keeps everyone safe. Um, a lot of the things that the pit does, the drumlin accentuates to make it easier to play when you're out on the field. Um, they're significantly farther behind, they're, not, they're moving and stuff, which is really tricky to, to listen back and hear the tempo. And this comes to my solo, where every um, two measures I do a solo, then um, the marimbos help out uh, with uh, crassimbos, which are mounted to the marimbos. And then this is what the podcast is about. Thank you very much.